Hi folks, I have two news for Fujifilm shooters because there will be two completely unusual and uh, never seen before kind of cameras coming in 2025 by Fujifilm and I'm really surprised by this. And in this case, both rumors are 100% going to be true. So you can hold me accountable. I will close this channel if I'm not right on this because the sources are, have been always put on in the past decade when they shared the rumor. So those rumors will be right and it's going to be exciting. But before I tell you exactly what kind of cameras, crazy cameras will come in 2025, take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button to not miss any of the upcoming rumors. Because of the craziness of that rumor, I want to start with a crazy personal note. You will see that image here. This is a direct positive Ilfochrome image I created using a camera that I did build by myself. It's a two per two per two meter camera where I was inside and inside I took images directly on Infochrome. It is a private project I made and now I'm redoing it with other material because Infochrome is no more available. And so I am very into unusual kind of cameras and crazy cameras and Fujifilm will announce two of those cameras in 2025. Like I told you at the beginning of the video, those are reliable rumors. Those are not uncertain rumors. Like for example, uncertain rumors that I posted recently were about the Sony A12 specs where I'm still uncertain. I know the camera is coming 2025, but I don't know the specs. And certain rumors were, for example, rumors about the Lumix S1R2 or S1H2. I always told you those are not from my reliable sources. Indeed, they did not turn out to be true. We had the Lumix announcement yesterday and it was quite a disappointment. And indeed, we got the only camera I told you that I was nearly certain would be announced, the Lumix S5D, which is basically an S5 with DJI LiDAR support. Quite um, disappointing appointment if you following this channel for Panasonic or L mount gear but I told you that more L mount gear more exciting L mount gear will come in 2025 that's what I've heard from trusted sources so but back to Fujifilm you're here for Fujifilm there are two crazy rumors one uh, we already shared a month ago uh, but we now have the announcement date uh, and it's for the new and first fixed lens medium format camera from Fujifilm. So Fujifilm will announce a sort of GFX camera with a fixed lens to make it as compact as possible. The fixed lens will be a 28 millimeter in full frame terms. So it's equivalent to a 28 millimeter if you have a full frame camera. And uh, the update is that this camera will be announced quite soon in 2025 during the first half of the year. So this is going to be a sort of, let's say high quality, image quality and costly version of the X106. Um, so if you are love fixed lens cameras that are as compact as possible, but you want the ultimate image quality, then this will be your only choice possible. And I'm curious to see how this camera will look. Personally, I would love it would have if it would look just nearly exactly like the X106, but just blown up because of course it will be bigger because of the sensor. And but I think Fujifilm will not go that route. But that's just my feeling. Okay, so that's not a, a rumor. My feeling is they they will base the camera design on the current GFX design and just shrink it down. That's my opinion based on how Fujifilm no normally does stuff. But let's see. The only thing where I'm near certain, we don't have specs yet, but I'm near certain it will use the usual 102 megapixel sensor made by Sony. I know Sony made a 247 megapixel medium format sensor for industrial use. So I don't know if they're really going to use it on normal photographic cameras, but I don't think this 250 megapixel sensor will find its way into the new Fujifilm GFX camera. So the only thing we know, this camera is coming the first half of 2025, 28 millimeter lens. This will be the only and the first fixed lens digital medium format camera we have on the market. Now the second rumor about the second new kind of camera is totally crazy. A couple of weeks ago, I told you that Fujifilm will announce a camera with a new sensor size. So people were speculating about possibility of having a full frame sensor, micro third sensor, whatever the different sensor sizes that Fujifilm never used. Usually they use APS-C or um, medium format. I was personally hoping to get a full frame fixed lens camera from Fujifilm, but that's not, that's not the case. It's even crazier than you think. So according to Fujifilm, FujiRumors.com 
and the Fujifilm sources that he has, Fujifilm will launch in 2025, so next year, not, not something in many years from now, next year, the first digital half frame camera. And that's totally, totally, I didn't see this coming at all. And I had to do some reasoning after reading this rumor on why they make it. But first, let me explain what half frame means. As you know, uh, a couple of months ago, Pentax did announce a new Pentax 17 half frame film camera. So this is a film camera, not a digital camera. And such a half frame camera splits the 35 millimeter film size in two and you get two vertical images. Now, in case of Fujifilm, we don't know if half frame really means the same size of the half frame in terms of film size or if it has a different size. But the important crucial thing is that it means that this camera will mainly shoot a sort of TikTok Instagram sized images, so vertical images. You may think that this is a bit nonsense. It makes a lot more sense on film cameras because half frame lets you shoot double the images. Therefore, you don't have to spend as much money on film. So that was the whole goal of having the half frame images on digital. Uh, this makes less sense, um, but what I can see, the reasoning, I'm just trying to figure out why Fujifilm is doing this, maybe you have a better answer than I have now, in my opinion this camera could be, that's a speculation, could be mainly made for creators that share their images on social networks. So imagine having, a, I guess it will be a fixed lens, compact camera that directly shoots vertical images. You have an EVF displaying a vertical image so you can really compose your image already in camera while looking through the EVF. And then you have that image, you can apply a, some sort of filter on it and share it instantly on your social network. Maybe it's even a very affordable camera and I guess Fujifilm wants to test that market, see if particularly younger creator generation would love to have such a camera. There is nothing like this on the market, so Fujifilm will be, will be the first to do a digital half-frame camera. As weird as it sounds, this is going to be real. This is going to be announced in 2025. We still don't know if it's going to be announced in early 2025 or late 2025. I was hoping for full frame, but I guess uh, Fujifilm will try every other size before they go full frame. So half frame it is. I want to hear your opinion about both cameras, the new medium format fixed lens camera. If that makes sense to you, if there's something to gain from having a fixed lens on such a big expensive camera. And then let me also know what you think about that half frame digital camera. Um, again, we don't have the detailed specs, but I'm pretty certain that in the next weeks and months we will get more details which means specs, but hopefully also some images of the camera, then I will share them as up on this channel. So another reason to subscribe, hit the notification button. And so that's it. Those were the two crazy Fujifilm cameras coming in 2025. And actually I love that they are testing the market. It's something we don't see from Nikon, Canon, Sony that often. So Fujifilm is doing the right thing in my opinion. They might fail on one of the ideas, but if one idea succeeds, then this can generate a lot of money. An example of such a camera is, for example, the Pentax 17. Pentax made digital cameras that were really boring for the past decade. And my first digital camera was a Pentax, so I have nothing against Pentax, but they were not making any meaningful sales. They decided to make a half-frame film Pentax 17 and it's selling like hotcake. That's something I miss in the industry. Probably companies were too afraid to invest in a market that was shrinking quite fast. Now that things have stabilized, there might be some more room for something unexpected. So I hope that Sony, for example, will finally do the fixed lens full frame camera with proper speed, proper updates. That would be nice, even if it's not something uh, really new. But I hope that manufacturers understand they have to be more bold. And so I applaud Fujifilm from doing both cameras, even if I personally will not buy any of the two. I hope that Fujifilm and maybe if DJI one day enters the market, that they will push the market into new segments, attract new possible customers that today don't feel like buying some expensive camera. 
So, uh, great. It's great news. This is really making me happy, even if I don't care at all about the fixed lens menu format camera. It's too expensive for me. And half ca frame camera. I'm not a TikToker or Instagrammer, sorry. Uh, that's something I don't, really don't care about, but uh, I'm old and maybe you watching me are younger and you will go like, yes, that was exactly the camera I needed. Folks, that's about it for today. If you have some rumors about uh, what's coming next from Fujifilm, Sony, Panasonic, Canon, Nikon and so forth, DJI maybe and so forth, then you can always contact me using that email address or the contact form on sonyofrumors.com. Uh, don't get distracted by the fact that there's the name Sony inside. I collect everything and then I post them on my different websites for true rumors, mirrorless rumors, uh, L rumors, I pass them on on Fuji rumors and so forth. So I have my places where to share it and of course I always make a video on YouTube so that you will be the first to hear rumors um, and before anybody else. So I was the first, for example, to tell you that Lumix would announce that very boring S5D and I was hoping to be wrong, but it, yeah, I was right. And in my now that we talked about Fuji, the next rumors will be focused on Sony because something big is going to happen still this year. Finally, because Sony really let us down, more or less let us down till now. And finally, I can talk about something more exciting on Sony. Finally, finally, okay? Folks, that's it for today. See you soon.